Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining today. Today I'm going to do a video from my very cluttered workout room. And I'm going to do an update on my Spirit XT485 treadmill after two years. Uh, I bought this treadmill, I think it was... Well, it was two years ago. I spent about $2,400. I bought it from a local fitness store so I could uh, also have it to where they could do maintenance on it if needed and they would be able to do warranty coverage. Um, it, you can't see it, it tells you when you turn it on. I'm going to unplug the key and plug it in again so you can see it. But right here, it's going to display the number of hours I've used it and the number of miles I've done. It had 279 hours. I was at 156 after a year, so I've done, what's that, uh, 123 hours this year. And uh, it's 1,000... thousand and seventy four miles. Um, I was at... I believe it was 574, right at 500 miles this year. So uh, I used it very le slightly less than the first year, but not much. Um, I do like to run outside more often than not, but uh, I will find if the streets are bad or the weather's really bad, uh, I'll use this. I also use it some in the summer when it's just... Uh, 100 degrees out. I still try to run quite a bit in the heat to get accustomed to it, but sometimes if my only run is going to be in the middle of the day, I'll go ahead and use my treadmill. Uh, I also find it a real good way to come in and get some elevation. Uh, the treadmill goes up to uh, an incline of 15%. Um, it doesn't have decline like my last one does, but I'm not finding that as a big, big loss. Uh, the treadmill has been very solid. Uh, I've had no issues at all. I haven't had to, I, I don't know how good Spirit's uh, call-in support line is. I, I haven't had to call and warranty support at all. I uh, just haven't had any issues with it. Uh, the belt on my old one I used to have to adjust quite often. I've had this one for about two years and I've only adjusted the belt like once. You do still need to add uh, silicone lubricant to the to the treadmill bed about once every three months. One of the cool features I've seen on this treadmill is that when I went a little bit too long, like four months or so, uh, it popped up with a message on the screen. Uh, I don't have it up here right now, but it I don't have I've lubed it like I was supposed to, but uh, it'll give you a, a message telling you it's time to loop your treadmill, which I thought was really cool. Uh, it's got the little up and down buttons over on the side that let you change your elevation and your speed on the right side. Uh, I normally just actually do the buttons on the screen. Uh, I'll type in an incline, but I'll use this usually to go to like five miles an hour. And then if I want to go up a half at a time, I'll push the buttons. Um, it does have a little fan. I don't find the fan is really strong enough. So you'll see right behind here, I put a big fan that's blowing on me uh, to keep it cool in here. I also will sometimes get a lot of humidity in the room, uh, heat from me sweating a lot. So right behind me, I have a window and I will open it some to let some air out. And that helps a lot with uh, not leaving the room real damp. Um, other than that, one of my favorite things that I've had with the treadmill is it's got a little lever right down here that you push on uh, push down on and then you're able to lift the treadmill and it'll lock into place which makes it really easy uh, you build up a lot of lint and build up and I'm able to get under here and vacuum and keep it clean underneath the treadmill. Uh, it also then has wheels that allow you to, once you've done this, you should, should be able to roll it a little bit. I rarely move this treadmill. 
Uh, it's I've got it where I want it, and I just kind of leave it there. But I do find being able to lift the, the treadmill up and uh, vacuum under it is very useful. Um, and you just pull down and it, it comes down slowly. It won't fall. And it, it's a soft touch. So it, it comes down pretty smoothly. So uh, there's no damage done to the floor or anything like that. Um, it does have a heart rate strap that works, but it doesn't really work with my... I use an Ant Plus with my Garmin, so I don't really use the strap that came with it much. Uh, there's handles here that you can also take a heart rate measurement and have it go on the screen. But I really don't do that very often. Um, there's cups for storage and a drink. I real often will set my little table over here like that next to my treadmill so I can have drinks that are easier to get to. I find these are a little bit jiggly um, and not real straight up and down for storing my water. They'll work and then there are bottle holders underneath. Uh, as you'll see the big one in the middle is where I put my heart rate strap. Um, but anyway, I have really enjoyed the treadmill. It's just been solid. Uh, it always seems to work, and uh, it's definitely strong enough to do what I need it to do. It'll go up to, I believe, 12 miles an hour, so like five-minute miles. I never can go anywhere close to that speed. It's got several programs, the manual hill, fat burn, cardio, strength, interval, calories, and, and those all work pretty well. Uh, I will say I usually just put it on turn it on and do it manual and then uh, adjust the incline or decline uh, manually. But uh, the programs work well. But anyway, that's really my update on my Spirit XT 485 after two years. Uh, still enjoying the treadmill.